Um, we're playing hide and seek, Ozzy and I. I've been looking everywhere for him, but he's really, really good at hiding. Hmm. Hang on a second. I see something white and fluffy. Hold on. Hello, I found you. You were good at that game, weren't you, Ozzy? That was a good hiding spot. Shall we, shall, is it my turn to hide now? And you're going to count? Hold on. Oh, no. Ozzy's forgotten how to count. What was that? He wants us to read a book about numbers so that he can learn to count again and then we can play a better game of hide and seek. Okay, Ozzy, shall we have that one that you really like? Ah, oh, yes, I've got it here. All right, then you stay there and I'll teach you the numbers. Don't move. So Ozzy's decided he wants to learn his numbers so that he can play a better game of hide and seek because at the moment he can't count very well. So he's chosen this one. It's got lots of numbers in it. Let's read the title together. One, that's our sight word, isn't it? Is a snail. One is a snail. T N ten is a crab. Crab. One is a snail and ten is a crab. Why is a snail one? I wonder. Ah, oh, he's got one foot, hasn't he? So, how many feet does a crab have? How many? He must have ten. Ah, oh, now this book doesn't have many words in, but it does have quite a lot of numbers. Let's have a look at the words that are in this book. See if you can read them with me. Snail. Snail. Did you spot the A digraph? Brilliant. What digraphs can you spot in this word? I can see it too. It's er, uh, isn't it? Let's read it. P er, s on, person. Oh, that's me. I'm a person. And you're a person too, aren't you? So there must be a person in the book. So if one is a snail, how many do you think a person might be? Do you think it might be two? I think you might be right, because we've got two legs. OK, let's have a look at this word. In, in, s, e. Insect. Insect. We learnt that in science. How many legs does an insect have? Can you remember? Six, that's right. So we've got one person with two legs, insect with six legs. Hmm. Here's a word that goes with the snail because we said he had one foot. Foot. Wouldn't it be funny if I'd used oo instead of uh? It would say foot, foot. And then we'd know that wasn't right, so we know it's foot, don't we? We know it's uh, not oo. Let's try this one. Crab. Crab. He had ten, didn't he? What about this one? Read it with me. We've got a I here, but he's not saying his sound I. He's saying his name I. Let's try I. Ready? Sp I d. Can you spot a digraph? Sp I d. Uh, spider. How many legs does a spider have? I can't hear you. I think I heard you. Did you say eight? You got it right. Well done. And here is our sight word. I wonder if you can read it. Can you read that sight word? You might have seen it in your books. It says people. And we remember that when we're spelling it by saying p people eh, everywhere oh, often. Who like elephants? People everywhere often poo like elephants. So, here are the numbers that Ozzy wants to learn. Are you ready to read them with me? This is a sight word, this one, because he doesn't look like he sounds. If we sounded him out, he would say, oh, But we know from our sight words that that is the number one. That's right, say it with me. One. Fantastic. Then we've got another one that's a bit of a tricky sight word. Look. T -w -u -tw -u -tw -u I can't sound him out, can I? So I'm just going to have to remember that he's got a tricky W in the middle. He's number two. Two. I can see the word two. He's just got a tricky W in the middle, hasn't he? This one we can sound out. Are you ready? F -r -e. Three. 
this one, I can see an or in there, but it's a bit tricky because it's got a tricky U in as well. So it's a bit of a sight word, ready? For, say it with me, for. And this one's easy to read because I've spotted the split digraph. What is that split digraph there? That's right, it's I, five, five. You're really good at this. This one's really easy. I reckon you can do this one on your own. Ready, what does this say? Sound it out. Did you get it? Yay! And this one, sound this one out. Go on. Seven. Seven. Well done. This one is a bit of a sight word here. Well, I say that. This is a very rare way to say A. Some of you have learned it already. A. Nice easy one here. Same split digraph as over here. What was it? It was I. Ready? Nine. Nine. And that's a nice one. Ready? You sound that one. Did you get it? Fantastic. Right, Ozzy, are you ready? Say them with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming. Ready or not? Now Ozzy has learnt to count we can read the story and he'll understand it better. So here we go. One is a snail, 10 is a crab, by April Pulley Sayer and Jeff Sayer. I wonder if they're married or if they're brother and sister. And it's illustrated by Randy Cecil. Great name. Oh, that page is very blue. Oh, I think I know why it's blue. It says on the sign, to the beach. One is a snail. This is a snail's foot. Two is a person. One, two. Three is a person and a snail. Look, one, two, three. Four is a dog. Ozzy's a four. Why is that? Because he's got four paws. That rhymes, doesn't it? Four, poor. Five is a dog plus a snail. One, two, three, four, five. Six is an insect. Seven is an insect and a snail. Oh yes, because look, six and one more makes seven. Cool, we just did a number sentence. Eight is a spider. Do you remember spider from the story Bear's Scare? Nine is a spider and a snail. Ten is a crab. Crabs have got ten feet. Their front two feet also have a second job as claws. And that means twenty is two crabs. Ten 20. We can count in tens. And 30 must be how many crabs? One, two, three. Let's count. 10, 20, 30. So 30 is three crabs. Or it could be 10 people and a crab. Can you count in twos? Ready? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Oh my goodness, it's so many numbers. 40 is four crabs. Count in tens, ready? 10, 20, 30, 40. Or 10 dogs. My goodness, if we put 10 dogs all together and counted their paws, there would be 40 paws. 50 is how many crabs? One, two, three, four, five. Fifty is five crabs, because they've got ten legs each. Let's count in tens and check. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Or it could be ten dogs plus a crab. Sixty is six crabs. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. Or ten insects. <gasps> ten groups of six adds up to 60. 70 is seven crabs. Count with me. 
10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. How many crabs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven groups of 10 is 70. <gasps> or it, 70 could be 10 insects and a crab. 80. How many crabs do you reckon 80 is? It's giving you a clue at the start of the number. Yes, I think you might be right. It might be eight crabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should we count in tens and just check? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. <gasps> it was. And or it could be 10 spiders. 10 spiders. If we counted all their legs, they'd have 80 between them. 90 is nine crabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's count in tens to make sure they're right. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Or it could be 10 spiders and a crab. I think they're all going off swimming, aren't they, with their rubber rings? Their rubber rings look like the zero, don't they? So 100, how many crabs do you reckon must be in 100? 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Count in tens, ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Or if you're really counting slowly, 100 could be 100 snails. <gasps> oh my goodness, imagine counting all those. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... I don't think I can do it right now. It's the end of the story and I want to show you something else that you can do with this exciting story. Let's go and have a look. So, when I was reading the story, I got to the last page and it said if you were counting really slowly to 100, you would need 100 snails because they've each got one foot. Now, I went and made some pictures to go with the story. Do you want to see them? So I've made some people, I made some lovely people, and how many legs do people have? Two, so we're going to count in twos. I'd like you to count with me as I touch the people and count in twos, ready? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, What's two more than 18? 18, 19, 20! 20. 20! My goodness me, we've got 20 legs on our people. I'm going to put one of the people up there. How many spiders can you see? I'm not going to count in eights because I can't do that yet. We learned that in the juniors. Oh my goodness, but I can see that I have got eight legs on the spider. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven spiders. I'm going to pop him back up here. Now, this one, look at all my snails. Oh my goodness, they were all in a big heap. But I have been super, super clever. I thought of a way to count them really easily. And I sorted them into fives. Because I thought, hmm, I know the children at Yat and Infants can count in twos and they can count in tens and they can count in fives. So we're going to count in fives right now and see if you remember your counting in fives. Ready? I've put five in each row, so count. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. <gasps> That's a hundred snails there, but I've got more than a hundred. Look, a hundred and five, a hundred and ten. And then look, I had three left over. I couldn't put them in a group of five, so I have to add those on. So a hundred and ten. 111, 112, 113 snails. Wowzers, I was busy making snails, wasn't I? And then I've got some flies over here. I've got some dogs over here. And there's my crabs. I've got how many crabs? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Let's count in tens. I think you already know what it's going to add up to. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. Oh my goodness me. We counted in twos. We counted in fives. We counted in tens. Make sure you practice that at home so you get really good at that because it helps you with your adding. Okay, so here is a nice activity that you could do yourself. You could get, you could imagine a person, how many legs does a person have? Two, that's right, so two and how many legs did a spider have? Eight. Two plus eight and you could make a number sentence and tell me what that equals. What's the best way for me to do that? I know I'm going to put the big number in my head, eight, and then I'm going to count on the smaller number, eight, nine, ten. Two and eight is ten. That one I bet you did quicker than me because it's one of your number bonds, isn't it? You know that two and eight make ten. Let's make this more tricky. Hmm, Ozzy's shouting one out to me. What was that, Ozzy? You want to add a dog. Okay, how many legs does a dog have? Four, that's right, four. Add, what do you want next, Ozzy? Oh, another dog to play with, okay. Four, add four. What do you want next? Oh, another dog, okay. Add four more. What do you want next, Oz? Typical, he wants another dog, okay. Four, add four, add four, add four. Is that enough now? Okay, good, because we've run out of space. Right, four and four, double four is eight. Add another four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Add another four, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I think it's 16, Ozzy, I think we've made 16. Now, if you wanted to get really tricky, you could start with a bigger number like 10 or maybe 20. And you could take a smaller number away. Oh my goodness me, should we try it? 20, because we've got two crabs, 10, 20. Let's take away the eight, okay? 20, take away eight. And what does that leave? Well, we know, don't we, that two and eight make 10. So our number bonds are telling us that 20, take away eight, must leave us with 12. You can check that by counting backwards. So I could start with my 20 and I could cross out eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I could count 10, 11, 12. Or I could count backwards, couldn't I? Start at 20 and count backwards eight. It's up to you how you do it. Depends where you are in your maths, doesn't it? And how you like to learn. Have a go, it's good fun.